Hi everyone, this is Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. Have I got an easy project for you to do. If you are a beginner, this is perfect. Even if you are experienced at doing a lot of sewing, it's still a perfect project for you. It's quick, you can get a gift ready for someone really fast. All you need is two pieces of fleece and I'll show you how to quickly stitch it together. Let's get started. This is how you would cut and layer your fleece blanket. This is the fleece on the top with all the lines going through it. You want it to be three and a half inches shorter on all sides. So the fleece on the back, which is this clear border right there that you see, that goes all the way across the back and it extends three and a half inches out from each edge. These yellow lines represent stitch lines. So you would layer your fabrics together and just do some stitching side to side and top to bottom. And this holds the layers of your fleece together. You can make this any size you want. So an example is, if you wanted a finished size of 40 inches by 40 inches, you would cut your top fleece that size. Then you would cut your bottom fleece 46 and a half inches by 46 and a half inches. You can make this any size and any shape that you want, a square or a rectangle. I recommend using a walking foot when you're working with fleece because it is thick. You're going to have two layers of fleece. The fleece has a tendency to stretch while you're working with it. So if you use a walking foot, it helps to prevent the fabric from shifting as you're working on it. These you can get on Amazon.com or your sewing and uh, machine repair places where they sell sewing machines and sewing mas machine supply websites. I recommend you cut the fleece for the very top of your blanket first. So cut it to your finished size. Then lay it on top of the fleece for the back and center it on that fleece so that you have equal amounts of fleece hanging out around all sides. Then take safety pins and place them all over the blanket to hold the two layers of fleece together. Now you remember this diagram here where I showed you lines, these yellow lines. Do those quilting stitches now or top stitching. Do three or four lines going one way, then turn it, and then do three or four lines going the other way. Make sure you have enough to go all the way around three and a half inches. Now if you want, you could have a narrower border if you want. You could go three inches, two and a half. It's whatever really you want to do. So I'm going to place my three and a half inch line right on the edge of this top piece of fabric. And I'm just going to go ahead and begin trimming around all of the edges. Take your ruler and you're going to put the quarter inch line right on the tip of the fleece that's on the top. All right, so you're actually cutting one quarter inch out and away. And another thing to do is take your 45 degree line on your top fabric here and line it up plus that quarter inch so you know everything is straight. That way your corners are going to come out a lot better. All right, so now then cut and do that at all of your corners. Pull the top fleece out of the way and you're going to bring these two corners together going this way. So you're bringing the front side together. Pin your corners and pin all the way across here. And then after you've pinned, you're going to stitch 
from the folded edge one quarter inch down this way and when you get a half inch away from your corners down here you're going to stop so you don't stitch all the way across so a quarter inch seam start at the folded edge stop a half inch away from this edge here after you're done stitching your corners then turn it front side out and poke at your corners so you poke these corners out then place your top fleece back in there and tuck it into the corner. Wrap your fleece around the edges like this. Then turn your edges in a half inch all the way around. And as you're turning it in, go ahead and pin it down. So you're going to pin it the edges around all four sides. And then after pinning everything, you're going to stitch close to this edge right here around all four sides. A suggestion I have for you is to roll your fleece blanket up whenever you need to go to your sewing machine. You're going to find it's a lot easier to control if it's rolled up like this. It's not going to tug and get caught on the edge of your table. For more fleece projects, go to the very end of this video where you will see a green screen and click on the links. If you like this video, click on thumbs up and don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed yet, click on that red subscribe button down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. Don't forget to enter your email address and click on the little bell so that you receive future email notifications about my latest video. I'm Cheryl. And this is Manny. So glad you came to my sewing room. I'll see you next time and happy sewing.